Welcome to Dynamic Sprint Webinar Series. This is series number five. And in today's session, I'll be walking you through the Gantt charts and the shop for functionalities within Dynamic Sprint. Gantt chart, or as I call it, the graphical board for the shop floor people or for the manufacturing people, represents blocks of time or which against an order, which is scheduled against the resources. So as, it can, as you can see on your screen, the Gantt chart is divided into two sections. This is where you see the blocks of time or jobs that are lined up against the resources and the representation of those jobs uh, in terms of orders lined up in the bottom pane. In the last session, we created a sales order and scheduled the job and the sales order was number 469. I'll start by looking for my sales order, which is here. I can filter by selection and just look at the different operations that I have in this job. So by clicking this line, I should be able to see where these jobs are lined up uh, in my shop floor or on my shop floor. And vice versa, by click clicking the block, I should be able to see back my job uh, that is here represented in the line. In the Gantt chart, we can look at different periods. For example, we can look at a one day period versus a three day period versus a seven day and a 14 day period just to give you more visibility to the uh, entire chart. We can zoom in and zoom out. Also, we can add or block book the, uh, the capacity uh, for some reason. An example here could be, let's say the machine is down next week uh, for maintenance. I can basically go and just block the capacity for a certain period. So I'm going to say I want on my flexo group to block some time on Tuesday. So once I do that, uh, there's a placeholder. I click OK and it blocks that time for whatever reason uh, I, I need to block the resource for. Other functionalities in Gantt charts are I can go directly in the work center directly from the Gantt chart itself or I can go into the working times meaning again uh, next week the machine is again down for maintenance or I need to stop the machine for a certain period of time and I don't want people to block or to schedule my block resource I can click on working times and stop that period um, which I don't want the machine to be based on. Uh, other functionalities here are I can click on the filter function and it shows me all the orders I have sorted by a lot of different variables but this is a quick snapshot of details behind the job for example how many ups I have what's the kind of cutter ID I have and importantly what's the material attached to these lines again this is a very important concept if you want to uh, look at um, make ready efficiency which means we can look at the data here and um, schedule jobs back to back uh, within Gantt charts. So I have these three jobs here um, and I want to group them back to back. I can clip and select these jobs and by right clicking and saying snap bars, the system will make sure that these jobs run back to back. Um, so as to save on make ready time and gain you more efficiency. The other things I can do is I can actually look at a certain order and look at the order progress. It tells me where the job is. Right now these jobs are scheduled, but if these were any of these operations were completed, it would show me in the Gantt chart uh, order progress form as well. During this time, I also want to show you some of these shop for functionalities. So right now I'm a shop floor employee and I, when I walk onto my machine, I will, should be able to see all my jobs lined up. And the, no, the natural flow of the job here is pre-press uh, and actual printing and the cutting. So I'm going to walk into my label machine and when I walk in, I see all the jobs that are scheduled and lined up for me to finish. The shop floor is touchpad enabled means I can use my touch pan, panel screen to look for different or to add data or look for different functionalities. So I'm going to look for my job 469 that I've already scheduled and by clicking filter I can see it's lined up here on this machine 08250. 
Typically now I would want to start my job and record real time and material. By clicking the start button, the system automatically starts the clock with, which re records the actual time be being consumed on the job. So once I start my job, my next logical step would be to register actual materials against this job. By clicking the material registration button, I can see uh, my material that is attached to this line and I can say I've used a certain amount of material for this line and I can click create and the system will go on and record the actual material consumption. I would want to now go and stop my machine and record my actual time. So I can say uh, the print is finished and again all of this data elements are uh, captured real time uh, into the system. Record my actual time. In this case, I would just say two hours and approve the time. So you see how easy it is for uh, manufacturing managers or decision makers to make full use of GAN charts and be able to juggle the jobs around and how user friendly the screen is or the shop floor is for uh, manufacturing people to record actual time and data for each of these job elements. Thank you once again. I hope you enjoyed your session today. Bye-bye.